Hi, this is your Central New Jersey chiropractor, Dr. Perry Wolkweiss, coming to you from the Get Well Center located in Boundbrook, New Jersey. And my topic for today's video is all about headaches. You know, you're the kind of person that's having headaches on a daily, weekly, even monthly basis. The kind of headaches that make your head feel like someone's squishing it, or it's pounding, or pressure behind your eyes. I understand what you're going through. Headaches are not fun. While I fortunately have not gotten a lot of headaches, I've certainly experienced my share of headaches over the years. And having headaches is debilitating. It impairs the quality of life. It can make you cranky. I've seen a lot of people over the years with headaches and we get exceptional results in a relatively short period of time. But what I want to talk to you about today particularly are three triggers for headaches that most doctors never tell you about. And I've seen these things show up over and over again over the years. So we're going to talk about these three triggers and if you have headaches you want to pay attention to this. The first thing we're going to talk about is spinal misalignment. When a vertebrae of your spine goes out of alignment it can create tension up in the back right here around the temple area or the back of your head. And the vertebrae that I'm talking about is right here at the base of the skull. It's the C1, C2 vertebrae. The number one, number two vertebrae right at the top of your spine. And when those vertebrae aren't functioning right, they irritate the delicate nerves there. They irritate the delicate muscle tissue in that area, and that can trigger off headaches. Very often we're sitting at our computers all day long hunched over, we're sitting with poor posture at our tablets, our cell phones, and we're just not really paying attention to our posture. It puts a lot of stress on the muscles of the back of the neck, causing those vertebrae to go out of alignment. So spinal misalignment, big word, is called vertebral subluxation. That's vertebral subluxation complex. The name's not important. It just means that these vertebrae up here are not doing their job and they're triggering off these sensitive nerve endings and giving you a headache. That's number one. Number two is what we call cranial dysfunction. The cranium or the skull. These bones move as we breathe. They expand and contract. It's that movement that gets cerebral spinal fluid flowing around the brain and then down the spinal cord. And that cerebral spinal fluid, that whole area is under pressure. So when those bones don't move like they're supposed to with respiration, when they jam up, they literally can cause a dysfunction that creates pressure changes. And guess what? You get headaches. You get pressure in your head. I've also seen Marinier syndrome. We call sometimes foggy brain, vertigo, fatigue symptoms. I've seen a whole host of things come about just because these bones of the skull are out of alignment. Now yes, it can come about very simply from just a bang on the head like you do if you're looking in a closet for something or underneath a cabinet. And you don't think anything of that you hit your head, but it can create a change in that. I've seen it also sometimes people when they're exercising, they're really intense, they're working really hard, they're breathing, they're trying to push really hard or they lift something really heavy and that can cause those bones to dysfunction. I also see it happen from a situation where someone comes down with a bad case of bronchitis and they're <coughs> coughing all the time and that cough can change it. There's a lot of different ways that that can occur. It's a very simple solution to it once you know how to look for it and most doctors don't know how to look for that. The third thing I want to talk to you about is what's called ileocecal valve. The ileocecal valve is a small valve sitting right by where the small intestine attaches to the large intestine right about where your appendix is. And that valve is a check valve. It opens and closes. And its job is basically to stay closed when it needs to and open up when material needs to move from the small to large intestine. And by closing, it prevents things from backwashing. It's kind of like having a one-way check valve going from your house into the sewer system. You don't want stuff coming back in. Well, sometimes that valve dysfunctions. Things like popcorn, pretzels, and potato chips can all irritate that valve in some people. I had a shoulder problem once from that valve because there's an acupuncture point for the shoulder, uh, right on the shoulder area there for that valve. But it can create what we call toxic morning headaches if it gets stuck open. Material will backwash from the small intestine back into the large intestine. That's not good and it can create a toxic headache. So if you get morning headaches first thing after you wake up after a reasonably decent night's sleep, you might have an ileocecal valve problem an easy find if you know how to look for it, and an easy fix. So there are three triggers that I talked about today that you need to get if you have chronic headaches. Number one, spinal misalignment, vertebrae out of alignment at the base of the skull, right at the neck area. Number two, 
cranial dysfunction where the bones of the skull are not moving properly. And number three is what we call ileocecal valve. It's a change in the valve by, by the small intestine right around the appendix area. When those three things are showing up either all together or each one separately, they can trigger off chronic headaches. And if you haven't had those looked at and you've just basically been popping pills all the time to manage your headaches, you might want to think about seeing an expert like myself to find out if you have it. If you have it, we can fix it. If you don't, I certainly will tell you what you need to do about it. And if we can't solve the problem, I certainly don't hesitate in referring you to someone who can. My goal is to help a person get better. So this is Dr. Perry Wolkweiss from the Get Well Center saying we'll see you next time on my next video. Stay healthy.